There are many different areas of OnTarget Clinical that allow you to create tasks. When utilizing the task feature, you are creating the means to communicate within the program. One of the primary places that tasks are used is in the Notes section. A task must be associated with a note. Therefore, to create a task, you must first open up a note. From there, you will go to the Tasks tab. To create a task, click Add a Task. The note information will pull in as Read Only. The Assign To field will auto-populate to the caregiver of the note. This is because it is a typical scenario for the supervisor to assign a task to the caregiver when they discover that a correction needs to be made on the note. The task will be the method of communicating that correction. Tasks, however, can be used in any way that is most beneficial to the interested parties of a particular note. The assignee can be changed if need be. The reminder date is used to drive when the task will show up for the assignee. If this task is going to the caregiver of the note and it is about a correction that needs to be made immediately, then by leaving the reminder date blank, the task will be seen in the caregiver's task dashlet the moment that this is saved. If the task does not need to go into effect until a week from now, for example, then you can set the reminder as the future date and the task will show up for the assignee at that time. Use the description field to enter in the details of the correction or to provide any type of information related to the note for the assignee. When hitting Save, the Created By and Created On fields will auto-populate to your name as the creator and the date that the task was created on. This task is now visible based on the reminder date in the My Task Dashlet on the dashboard for both the assignee and the creator of the task. If you do not see the My Task Dashlet, then go to Configure Dashboard and be sure to check it. If you do not see My Task in this list, then check with your security administrator to make sure that it is opened up to you. The task can then be reviewed by the assignee by double-clicking on it. If there is no action to take for the task because this is just informational, then a response may be entered acknowledging the task was read and then reassigning back to the creator or simply closing it. If there is action to be taken, then you can click directly on the note link. This will open the note and after reviewing the task details, you can click on the Notes tab to make any necessary edits. When the task has been completed, go back to the Task tab, open the task, and provide a response if desired, and reassign back to the creator so that they will see your response. You may also close the task, but directly closing without sending back to the creator will not alert the creator that you have completed the task. A task can be closed by clicking here. When closing a task, the program will auto-populate the person who closed it and the date it was closed on. All tasks can be shown by clicking here. As an example of how the closed by and closed on date will look, let's open this task back up and take a look. You can search for all notes that have open tasks from the search notes grid. Scroll down to the tasks field and simply select notes with open tasks. The list will then be filtered down to all notes that have open tasks. You can then export this list or go directly into the notes to see the tasks. At the task dashlet, you also have the ability to export the tasks into a list. To get to all tasks, whether or not they're closed, click Show All. 
Additionally, you may want to receive email notifications when tasks are assigned to you. To enable that functionality, go to Options, Preferences, and check to receive email notifications. As mentioned in the beginning of this video, tasks can be utilized for many areas of the program. You will have the ability to create tasks from the following sections. Client consents, client assessments, client treatment plans, timesheets, scheduling, and employee certifications. The videos for each section listed will illustrate where the task can be found. The functionality behind the task is exactly the same as what you have seen here, though they may be used in a different way that is ultimately more meaningful. For example, tasks for client consents and client assessments are usually used to set reminders for when those documents will expire, while tasks from scheduling can be used to alert an employee of a schedule change. Tasks assigned from each of those areas will be displayed in the My Task Dashlet.